Hey guys, Raiho here, and I'm doing a uh, an unbubbling, an unfolding. I'm not sure how to what to call this here. We'll call it an unpackaging video, I guess. Not something I usually do. Um, I've done a few of them on the channel over the years, I think, for certain items that uh, were kind of important to me or whatever, kind of a thing like that. Um, this is a video game that I have been wanting to get back in my collection for years. So there's a little story that goes with this. Just one second here. I'm a little parched. <clears throat> Tim Hortons, always fresh. Um, yeah, so a few years ago, a few years ago, gosh, it's like a decade now. It's over over a decade, probably. Um, <clears throat> I'd moved out of my folks' place. Uh, I was out on my own, but I, I couldn't take anything with me. Uh, I was working a job where I was living in hotels and stuff like that, so I didn't really have a fixed address. Um, so all of my stuff was at my mom and dad's place. And uh, one night, I can remember, uh, my sister threw a little party or something like that, <clears throat> and uh, she called me up, and one of her friends, and I, this is conjecture to some, to some extent, but anyway, one of her friends asked if he could borrow a game, and it was somebody that I knew, so I said yes, and the game was GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64. Uh, again, this is somebody that I knew, so I thought I'd get it back for sure. Um, I don't know 100% after that what exactly happened. I do know that... Um, Within the year, I decided to move back to Nova Scotia, and I got my own apartment, and I went to get all that stuff from my folks' place, and when I did, I got, I had like a bin with all my games in it, and uh, everything was in there, and I know everything was in there. Um, when I went to take some of those games out and put them into boxes and things like that, I noticed that pretty much all of my absolute favorite games, <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but a lot of my absolute favorite games from the cartridge era, we'll say, I guess, um, we're missing. Um, it, it, like I said, it's kind of uncanny. Um, it's almost like you would have thought that I had a drawer where I put all my favorite games and that was the one that they, <laughs> they dug through. It's kind of crazy, but, um, uh, GoldenEye was one of those games. I never did end up getting that back. I eventually picked up another copy of it for a good price at like, uh, I don't know, like, a I don't know, like a swap meet, I guess, or whatever you want to call them. Um, and uh, I have that back in my collection, but the thing about it is, like, there's other intrinsic values and stuff like that. Um, with GoldenEye, for instance, I played that game to absolute completion. And uh, I played many, 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 many hours of multiplayer on that cart. So it's kind of like, you know, I miss it for that, but also just for the completion. Um, I can never do that again. I will never have the time to do that again. Some of the challenges that were in that game that you had to do... Um, to get, like, uh, I think it was invincibility mode was the hardest one, and I remember I had to beat the facility stage in on a certain level, I think maybe Secret Agent, um, within like two minutes and five seconds, and I can remember doing that over and over and over and over again, um, just like a million times to get through that. I think by the end of it, I didn't even like doing it. I was just doing it to get it done, but, um, you know, I'll never really sit down and do all that again, so it kind of sucks to not have the cartridge that I had where I, I'd done it all. Um, I have gone back and played the game on the new cart, and it is it is fun to play still, so it's great to have it, but that's the kind of stuff that you lose. Um, so I'm kind of hoping to go back and reacquire all these missing games, and um, this is one of the ones high on the list for sure. Um, so we'll get there to un unbubbling it here. just realized there might be some information on there. I thought I stripped all the information off of it, but when I took the information off, it was already open, which is kind of scary. <laughs> Contents are indeed inside, and Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, got this at pretty much the same price I would have got it locally. Um, the prices around here suck. <laughs> In Nova Scotia, it's like the worst. Um, so I ended up going to eBay to get it after getting jerked around by a couple of Kijiji ads here. But this cart looked to be in mint condition when I was looking at the seller's ad. And it, wow, it's like here, I'll kind of focus a little bit. It looks pretty nice. It's probably a nicer condition than my original cart would have been. <laughs> wow, it looks awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. That is great. All right, let's put it back in its home. I'll zoom this back in here. I wish I had auto-zoom on this, but I don't. Um, I still have a lot of my old boxes 
from my games. A lot of them aren't in as good, as good a condition as this one. All this one's getting pretty ratty in some spots. I kept all my games in the boxes, but I, I kept them in them. So, like, between plays, I put them back. So a lot of them got pretty beat up. <laughs> a fair amount of them I put masking tape on to kind of secure the structure, which I don't really care about the value of them outside of, you know, my own value. So it doesn't really matter. But And there you go. There's the manual. I've, this is a much loved manual. <laughs> you can see it's been it's seen its wear. Um, I can't tell you how many times, like when I was playing this game, even I would be like lying in bed listening to music, just kind of going over the manual, reading about different stuff. I don't know why, or just looking at the pictures. It's so it's kind of a bygone thing um, that we don't really we don't really get manuals at all anymore. And us old folks are always going on. Oh, we miss these color manuals and all that, but. Um, it was something I actually did, you know, read and go through. But there you have it. That is Donkey Kong Country back in the collection. I'm very excited to have that back in there. Um, another reason for wanting to pick this up this month was the fact that uh, Donkey Kong Country is the Cartridge Club Game of the Month for May. Um, I, of course, already have this on, like, the Wii Virtual Console, so I could have played it anyway, but I was like, you know what, this is it. Time to start getting these games back. Um, I ordered some other games, <clears throat> including another one of the games on my list, but it appears they may have been lost in transit, which kind of sucks. I don't know if this is out of focus, not or not. I'll hold it like this. Um, so um, I'm hoping to work out something to get that one back in the collection as well. I was hoping to open it up with this, but like I said, just not going to work out this time, but I'll just do this one game this time. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to replaying this so much, especially on the Super Nintendo. I can't even remember the last time I played it on a Super Nintendo. It's probably, god, 15 years or something like that. Um, I have I have replayed it on the Wii uh, Virtual Console um, within the last 10 years or so. But yeah, that is Donkey Kong Country. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> it's been a long time since I made a video, let alone an unboxing video or anything like that. But um, Hopefully, I will be talking to you again soon. Um, small plug, I guess. Um, I was recently on the Retro Fandango podcast. Um, we talked about... Well, I guess we. it was kind of a... They called them a DeVito episode. It was kind of just random chat. But we talked a lot about the Xbox 360 and stuff. Um, so you can check that out um, over at... I believe it's... I'll put the links below. It's Cartridge Club on Podbean. Um, uh, they're, they're kind of, uh, lumped in with the Cartridge Club podcast as well. You can also check them out at cartridgeclub.org. You'll be able to find all the stuff there for that. But, um, I was on the recent episode, I think it's episode 38, and I think the title is Emulated Vox, and it was really fun to chat with those guys, and so I want to make a quick plug for that, so you should check that out. And, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you soon. Peace.